Bodybuilding is, I would describe it kind of as an art form. It's where you're an artist building a sculpture, which is your own body. You can say it's a self-centered sport, but it's not uh, in a negative way. I mean, it's just basically taking care of what you eat and, and, and working out. So why do California's elite bodies bench, squat, and curl at this gym on the beach? The heavy little secret behind their workouts is that mega bodies need mega weights, and Muscle Beach has got them. Maybe at that regular gym, you'll find people using those puny five pound weights, but not at Muscle Beach. The buff here curl barbells as big as 110 pounds, all to get those muscles popping. This wasn't designed for beginners, but if the general public does get into this, they probably wouldn't go 250 pounds, it'd probably be the max. Uh, I'd say a young man in his 20s, working out for general conditioning, not to uh, compete. He'd probably get to around 250 pounds and do four or five sets of 10 repetitions with that. A professional or even an amateur, a good amateur bodybuilder, will be up around five and a half, six hundred pounds. This is a uh, 75 pounds plus 25 pounds on the rack. You've got about 100 pounds on here, which is very easy to work with. Now, if I were, if I personally were taking a workout right now, I would probably have about uh, 280 pounds on there. Of course, I'm, uh, I'm in the game a long time, and my body's used to moving a lot heavy iron. And not to mention old iron. At Muscle Beach, you can forget about finding fancy gadgets and electronic gizmos. This is strictly old school. We like to hang on to the originality of working out. We don't necessarily need things to be done more convenient for us. So that's why we're all free iron men history. When you look at it, you see, my God, that's an old plate. What do they need that for? Why do they get good stuff? Because it belongs at Muscle Beach outside, in the weather, at the beach, in the sun. Did you hear that? That used to be the sound of a gymnasium. That clanging in the gym lets you know that you were in the gym. Here at the beach, you can still get the clang. You can still get the old, direct, nitty gritty workout, the basic workout. Everything else comes from this. Even a start for a hulk of a star. I came here, I only had $200, I had no money in my pocket. So right where we were sitting, I would stay about 50 yards down. I slept on the beach for two weeks. And I figured nobody was going to mug me because I was 275 pounds. But it was so beautiful. It was November 1976. I was so happy to be here. I didn't, I didn't even think about it. I mean, this is the place I wanted to spend the rest of my life. I'm very thankful that I came here. I found this place and I followed my dream because most people don't follow their dream. But dreams won't come true out here without determination, a lot of sweat, and a secret muscle-building weapon. This guy. Tom Voss is a Muscle Beach regular, junior world bodybuilding champion, and a trainer who teaches up-and-comers the secrets to gaining a Muscle Beach body. Let me show you the movement first. Sure. A trainer is a person who can motivate and help um, the person you're training doing the right form, doing the exercises correct and getting in the desired shape, which is very important. Also preventing injuries, making sure that everything is being done correct. Today, Tom is working with one of his clients, fitness competitor Marie Escamilla. I'm more in the fitness category, but if you want to be a fitness or bodybuilding female, competitive level, I think you have to definitely a lot of focus. How much do you feel you can do today? Feel strong? Put another 10 on each side maybe. You had a good breakfast? I had a good breakfast. Now one thing is the, the weight 
It's never important. It's doing the exercise correct that right. really matters. And get the most out of it. Doing correct form. Right. Very nice. Make sure to breathe. Uh huh. Makes me happy too to see that the the person is is achieving something and feeling better about herself. All right. Good. You're done. Thank you. Nice workout. <laughs> Getting fit is one thing, but what about getting big, real big? Top-ranked pros can plump up to a meaty 350 pounds in their pursuit of perfection. But behind the glitz of competition is years of grind. It's all about sheer determination and sacrifices and genetics. If you don't have these and you don't have the focus, you are wasting your time. Any weightlifter worth their, well, weight, will tell you the secret to getting big muscles is to eat. As much as six meals a day, making for a gut-busting, muscle-popping, 5,000 calories consumed. That's nearly three times an average man's recommended daily diet. But not just any meal will do. For Muscle Beach's men and women, there's only one secret spot for a super snack. The Firehouse. The Firehouse is part of Venice Beach. I mean, if you come to Venice Beach and you don't go to the Firehouse, you're like you haven't been here. They have a very good menu. Uh, they cater especially for bodybuilders and normal people, of course. You have the bodybuilders' breakfast, the bodybuilders' menu. I know a lot. Uh, give me a uh, bodybuilders' breakfast. Matzo grand pancake, blue green banana, steak medium, fish steak wine. Ketchup and green Tabasco. Green Tabasco. Six ounces of steak, chicken, you get five egg whites and pancakes. Like we have the multi grain like for the bodybuilders, so they're lean, no fat. When I came here the first time, I was like, wow. In England, in Europe, you go, can I have six egg whites? They look at you like you came from another planet. You know, what am I going to do with the yellow? I don't know, just give me six egg whites. That looks good, eh? You are what you eat. It's as simple as that. Eat right, exercise hard, and hope your genetics are good, and you might get a prize or two. But at the end of the day, no matter how big the muscles, it's still what's on the inside that makes the big difference. If you're a nice, down-to-earth, bodybuilder who loves his fans, hasn't got an attitude, you make a lot of money. Because at the end of the day, it's your fans. They're the one who put money in your pocket. You got it? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good.